Welcome back to Animal Facts, here we give you nothing but absolute facts so believe it. In this video, we'll uncover the incredible creatures that have adapted to thrive in the most challenging environments, going without food for astonishing periods. From the tenacious desert tortoise to the patient python, we'll introduce you to nature's true fasting champions. Discover how they have evolved unique strategies to endure prolonged periods without eating, unlocking the secrets of their resilience. So if you're hungry for knowledge about these remarkable survivalists, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button, for more amazing content. Many thanks also to all those, who continue to support the channel by subscribing, we are truly grateful for the time you put into watching our content. Now then let's see who is hungry for some animal facts. Kicking off today's list we have Emperor Penguins. Emperor Penguins Aptenidites forsteri, the largest of all penguin species, are well adapted to endure harsh conditions in their Antarctic environment, including periods without access to food. One of the remarkable adaptations of Emperor Penguins is their ability to fast while incubating their eggs. After laying eggs, female penguins transfer the eggs to the males, who then incubate them on their feet, covered by a flap of skin called a brood pouch. During this incubation period, which lasts about two months, male penguins do not feed and rely on their energy reserves to sustain them. Once the eggs hatch, the females return from their foraging trips with food to feed the chicks. This is when both parents alternate between feeding the chicks and going on foraging trips. The maximum duration that emperor penguins can go without food is not precisely documented, but it can be several weeks to a couple of months, depending on factors such as their energy reserves, environmental conditions, and the availability of food when they return from their foraging trips. When on foraging trips, emperor penguins build up energy reserves by consuming substantial amounts of food. This enables them to survive for extended periods without eating. Taking the ninth place we have kangaroo rats. Kangaroo rats are small desert rodents found in North America, that are highly adapted to arid environments. They have several mechanisms that allow them to survive without food for extended periods, although the exact duration can vary based on environmental conditions and the individual's health. On average, kangaroo rats can survive for several weeks to a few months without food, Kangaroo rats have a highly efficient metabolism that minimizes energy expenditure. They produce concentrated urine to conserve water and use their stored fat reserves for energy. Kangaroo rats primarily feed on seeds, which are a dense source of energy. They have specialized cheek pouches for storing seeds and can gather and store seeds when they are available in abundance to sustain them during lean times. These rats obtain much of their required moisture from the seeds they consume. They are adapted to extract water from the seeds they eat, reducing their dependence on external water sources. During periods of extreme heat or food scarcity, kangaroo rats can enter a hibernation-like state called torpor. During torpor, their metabolic rate significantly decreases, allowing them to conserve energy. Taking the 8 spot we have snakes. The ability of snakes to survive without food varies depending on several factors, including the snake's species, age, size, and overall health, as well as environmental conditions. In general, many snake species can go several weeks or even months without eating, especially if they have recently consumed a substantial meal. Smaller species or young snakes may have a shorter fasting tolerance, while larger snakes like pythons and boas are known for their ability to fast for extended periods between meals, particularly in cooler conditions. Different snake species have varying metabolic rates and energy requirements. Some species are adapted to surviving longer periods without food, while others require more frequent meals. Young snakes typically require more frequent feeding than adults because they are still growing. Smaller snakes have lower energy requirements and can generally go longer without food than larger individuals. Snakes are ectothermic, meaning their body temperature is regulated by the environment, in cooler temperatures, their metabolic rate decreases, allowing them to conserve energy and go longer without food. The overall health of the snake plays a significant role in its ability to fast. A healthy snake may be better equipped to endure periods of food scarcity than one with underlying health issues. Snakes can store energy in the form of fat reserves. The presence of adequate fat stores can help a snake survive extended periods without food. Up next we have albatross. 
Albatrosses are known for their incredible endurance and ability to cover vast distances over the open ocean. However, the duration for which an albatross can survive without food can vary depending on factors such as the species, age, health, and environmental conditions. On average, albatrosses can typically survive without food for several weeks to even several months. One of the key adaptations that allow albatrosses to endure extended periods without food is their ability to efficiently conserve energy. They have low metabolic rates and are skilled gliders, utilizing wind currents to cover great distances with minimal effort. During these flights, they may forage for food, and when conditions are favorable, they can go for weeks or months without needing to feed. However, it's important to note that this ability to fast for extended periods doesn't mean that albatrosses are continuously without food. They rely on opportunistic feeding, often gorging on food when it's available, such as when they encounter schools of fish or other prey items during their oceanic travels. It's also worth mentioning that the specific duration an albatross can survive without food can vary between species. Larger albatross species, like the wandering albatross, may have more fat reserves and greater fasting endurance compared to smaller species. Coming up next we have hibernating bears. The ability of hibernating bears to survive without food during their hibernation period is quite remarkable and depends on various factors, including the bear species, environmental conditions, and the bear's physical condition prior to hibernation. Different bear species have varying abilities to conserve energy and survive without food during hibernation. For example, black bears typically hibernate for a shorter period, a few months, and may not lose as much body weight compared to grizzly bears or polar bears, which can hibernate for several months. Before entering hibernation, bears consume a significant amount of food to build up energy reserves. They accumulate body fat during late summer and fall to sustain them through the winter. This stored fat serves as their primary energy source during hibernation. During hibernation, bears enter a state of reduced metabolic activity, lowering their heart rate and body temperature. This state of torpor allows them to conserve energy and minimize their nutritional requirements. Hibernating bears do not eat, but they do not typically drink water either. They can obtain the water they need through the metabolic breakdown of fat. The duration of hibernation varies among bear species and can also depend on regional climate conditions. Some bears may hibernate for only a few months, while others, like polar bears, can hibernate for up to eight months. In general, hibernating bears are highly adapted to survive without food by relying on their stored fat reserves and their ability to minimize energy expenditure. We are halfway through today's video but before we get into the top 5, Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help support the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. Now then taking 5th place we have termites. Termites are known for their ability to consume wood and other cellulose-based materials as their primary source of food. However, they can survive without food for varying lengths of time depending on several factors, including the termite species, environmental conditions, and the life stage of the termite. Reproductive termites, including kings and queens, have the ability to store food in their bodies. This enables them to survive without food for extended periods, often several months to a few years. During this time, they can establish a new colony if conditions are suitable. The queen is the primary egg-laying individual within the colony and can produce a large number of eggs daily. These eggs hatch into termite nymphs, which develop into workers, soldiers, and future reproductive termites. The queen and king receive special care and attention from worker termites. Workers provide them with food and maintain the nest to ensure the success and growth of the colony. Queen termites have a significantly longer lifespan compared to other termites within the colony, sometimes living for decades. Kings also have a relatively long lifespan but are typically shorter than the queens. Environmental factors such as temperature, Humidity, and the availability of moisture can influence how long termites can survive without food. Coming up next we have crocodiles. Crocodiles are renowned for their ability to survive for extended periods without food. Their remarkable adaptations and energy conservation strategies allow them to endure long periods between meals. The specific duration a crocodile can go without food can vary depending on factors such as its age, size, health, and environmental conditions. Adult crocodiles are highly efficient at conserving energy. 
they can survive for several months to a year or even longer without food. Some studies suggest that a healthy adult crocodile can go without eating for up to a year or more if necessary. Crocodiles have a slow metabolism compared to many other animals. Their metabolic rate decreases significantly during periods of fasting, helping them conserve energy and survive on stored fat reserves. The size of the crocodile plays a role in how long it can go without food. Larger individuals generally have more fat reserves, which can sustain them for longer periods than smaller ones. Environmental conditions also impact how long a crocodile can survive without food. Cooler temperatures can slow their metabolism, while warmer temperatures may require more energy to maintain body functions. Crocodiles in seasonal environments may experience periods of fasting during dry seasons when water levels drop and prey become scarce. They have evolved to endure these natural cycles of food scarcity. Crocodiles can consume large meals at once and then go for an extended period without eating again. This ability to store and efficiently utilize energy contributes to their survival between meals. It's important to note that while crocodiles can survive without food for extended periods, they are opportunistic predators and will actively seek out prey when it becomes available. Kicking off the top three we have Olms. The Olm Proteus Anguinus is a highly specialized and unique aquatic salamander that is adapted to life in cave environments in parts of Europe, including Slovenia and Croatia. These animals have evolved a number of adaptations to their underground environment, including their ability to survive long periods without food. Olm's ability to survive without food is impressive. They are known to go without food for months and in some cases, even years. Olm's have an exceptionally slow metabolic rate, which means they require very little energy to maintain their bodily functions. This slow metabolism allows them to conserve energy and survive on minimal food. Olm's have the ability to store energy in the form of glycogen, a carbohydrate, in their liver and muscles. This stored energy can sustain them during periods of food scarcity. Olms are known to be opportunistic feeders, meaning they consume food when it's available but can go for extended periods without eating. They are also known to cannibalize younger olms if prey is scarce. When they do eat, olms are efficient feeders. They can consume relatively large prey items compared to their size, providing them with a substantial meal when they do feed. Taking second place we have desert tortoises. Desert tortoises Gopharis agassizi and Gopharis morafkai are adapted to arid environments and have developed remarkable strategies to survive without food for extended periods. Their ability to endure food scarcity is due to a combination of physiological adaptations and behavioral strategy. Desert tortoises have several physiological adaptations that allow them to conserve water and energy during periods of food scarcity. They can reabsorb water from their urine, helping them maintain hydration for an extended period. They also have efficient kidneys that conserve water by producing concentrated urine. Desert tortoises can store significant amounts of fat in their bodies, particularly in the tissues surrounding their internal organs. This fat serves as an energy reserve that can sustain them during periods when food is scarce. When food is scarce or environmental conditions are harsh, Desert tortoises can slow down their metabolic rate. This reduces their energy expenditure and helps them conserve fat stores. Desert tortoises are known to be opportunistic feeders, meaning they will consume food when it's available, storing energy as fat for later use. During times of food scarcity, they become more reclusive and may seek shelter to minimize water loss and energy expenditure. The specific duration that a desert tortoise can survive without food can vary based on factors such as its age, health, the availability of water, and the environmental conditions. In general, healthy adult desert tortoises have been known to survive without food for several months to a year or more. They rely on their stored fat reserves and efficient water management to sustain themselves during these periods. Taking first place on today's list we have tardigrades, Tardigrades, often referred to as water bears or moss piglets, are renowned for their extraordinary resilience and ability to survive extreme conditions. One of their remarkable survival skills is their ability to endure extended periods without food or water. Tardigrades can survive without food or water for a remarkably long time, depending on various factors such as their life stage, environmental conditions, and species. In some cases, they have been known to survive for years or even decades in a desiccated, or dried out, state. 
Tardigrades can undergo a process called desiccation, where they lose almost all of their body water and essentially enter a state of suspended animation. In this desiccated state, they can survive extreme conditions, including dehydration and lack of food. Tardigrades in certain life stages, such as the tongue stage, a protective state, are particularly adept at surviving desiccation. They can remain in this state until conditions become favorable for them to rehydrate and resume their normal activities. Tardigrades can withstand extreme temperatures, from freezing cold to scorching heat, while in their desiccated state. This further extends their ability to survive without food or water. The exact duration of survival without food or water can vary depending on the species of tardigrade and the specific environmental conditions. Some studies have shown that tardigrades can survive in a desiccated state for several years, and there are anecdotal reports of survival for even longer periods. We have come to the end of today's video but before you go, I just want to thank you for watching, I appreciate it and please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also check out my Instagram link in the bio, for more photos and video clips. This is Animals Facts, see you next time with more facts.